Welcome to a New Mexico in Focus Web Extra. We want to talk about the news that the governor has named Karen Trujillo of NMSU as the new Secretary of Education. Ms. Trujillo is a former Las Cruces teacher and researcher. She also wrote that report that we talked about here on the show some months ago on teacher vacancies here in New Mexico. Uh, Eric, your initial thoughts. Uh, uh, she's got some bona fides, as they say, that she wants more teacher money and accountability and all kinds of other things. Your, your initial thought. I don't know much about her. First of all, mm -hmm. she's an Aggie, and I'm an Aggie. That's, that's got a lot going on. You know, we, mm -hmm. we do. We were talking about having some folks from other parts of the state. So right. just on sort of like the basics, That's I think those are both very positive. The mm -hmm. fact that she spent her career, you know, at a high level doing research and also trying to solve one of which one is going to be the biggest problem we haven't talked about, which is if you're serious about building a really kind of world-class moonshot education mm. system, you're going to need a good, smart people to once again believe that, look, teaching is a noble and hopefully valued profession. Well, you, right. know, you can do that with pay increases, but that's not enough. Just saying we're going to pay teachers more is not enough. So someone who's going to say, look, invest in the people who are teaching our kids, our most precious resource, mm -hmm. and you're going to get a system that we can all down the road be proud of. Mm -hmm. So I really think that perspective is going to be healthy. I don't know enough about her, but everything right. I've seen in the short time we've been thinking about it is mm -hmm. it seems very, very positive. Let's swing over to Tom, your initial thoughts. Uh, when you when you see this, she's got an interesting background. I, yeah. We were talking about professional development on the on taping for the for the show for Friday night. Mm -hmm. Looks like she's got a, a solid background in that as well. She does, mm -hmm. she does. And I was just looking at I found the news release from the governor's office that mm -hmm. talks about all the different folks that uh, have been hired as a part of the public education team. Right. The name that jumps out to me is Deputy Secretary Kara Barbaroff, oh, uh, okay. who is uh, I think it's a that's a, a, a good person to have on board. And uh, Kata Sandoval, uh, mm -hmm. with uh, who has an extensive background in Native American. Uh, education and then also Tim Hand uh, who is a math and science teacher from Doniana County so right. I, I think that with these picks uh, she you know creates a, a secretary designate mm -hmm. um, you know who is New Mexico grown understands the unique issues mm -hmm. and uh, and a team to help her kind of move everything forward and so I, I, I think didn't, that's a good thing. I didn't see that but just real quickly in the charter school to yeah. Kata Sandoval was the founder of South Valley Academy Charter School huh. Uh, Kara Balbroff is the founder of the Native American Charter Academy, so that sends a really strong signal that both big, big, big innovators in public education, mm -hmm. but I also know that that's also going to maybe send a certain signal to, to certainly people who are worried about charters. So mm -hmm. Interesting yeah. point there. Um, she's also a county commissioner, District 5 down there. A lot of varied background, but given what you heard from Tom on the team and everything else, Positive reaction from you? Not is a it positive yeah. reaction? You know, yeah. we have this mythology, and it's not just New Mexico. I think everybody has it. Bring somebody in from out of state. Right. You know, what, where's the magic there? We saw that during the uh, Martinez administration, didn't we? Yes, we did. Uh, so mm -hmm. I think the fact that, mm -hmm. as Eric pointed out, she is from a different part of the state, which we need that representation. Uh, those folks down there. Uh, we have a lot of Albuquerque, Santa Fe. Uh, she does have very good credentials in a variety of ways, so I, I'm very positive about yeah. it. Justine, your initial take on the, on the hire? Well, I'm, I'm glad there's somebody in the spot. You know, there's been a huge platform laid out, and, and so it's high time somebody comes in and, and is able to start delivering, and mm -hmm. I really, I wish her the best of luck. It's a huge job. Mm -hmm. I'm hopeful now that we're going to hear something on some plan for accountability measures. I think uh, one of the stories talked also about a cost savings and yes. really hemming in administrative costs to the mm -hmm. tune of about $100 million. And so I'm just curious to see the details, uh, you know, how, how that's going to work. And is it also going to run through PED? <coughs> I mean, is PED going to do some, right. some trimming of dead wood mm -hmm. and cutting back on administration? And, and, mm -hmm. um, and so I'm, I'm eager to hear you know, the secretary's plans and, and glad there's a team in place. Interesting, I want to kind of tick off a couple things here. I mentioned bona fides that she's got. For the past 23 years, Ms. Trujillo has been a professional educator. She's been a teacher, a principal, a professional development specialist, a grant writer, an administrator, evaluation specialist, testing administrator, online instructor, on and on and on it goes, Eric. You know what I mean? It's, so it feels like, and then also, she specializes in mathematics and technology integration. Wow. Right, yeah. exactly she right. She should have a lot right. of credibility with teachers and administrators. Good I mean, point hopefully there. Hopefully she can talk all the way down. Yeah. Down now, the, as these things go, Martha, people have to be, you know, approved. We have a system to do that in our House and our Senate to do these things, and we've got a history of the last person who had that job was a secretary designate forever. Yes. Would you, would you anticipate any pushback uh, politically on this thing just to do that 
uh, uh, I don't, answer that alone? I, I honestly don't know about that. I think mm -hmm. now the issue about the two folks that are advocates for charter schools may be a little bit more controversial. Right. Uh, but I don't see this as being a designate for right. years. <laughs> Eight years or four should start. You know, this, this educator, oh, sorry, just quickly mm -hmm. on the educator yep. thing, I think this is another example of like we had a whole wave of educators in the legislature now so right. ah. the fact that we have and you know including the lieutenant governor who's also a career educator you know and right. someone who studied education a lot so i think you have a pretty strong team from the lieutenant governor on down and the cabinet secretaries deputies and a lot of legislators who who spent their careers as teachers and public educators and mm -hmm. administrators so i think we if this is going to be a moonshot, you certainly got a good uh, team yeah. to, to sort of make yeah. it happen. Right? That moonshot term, and it's just I love the it. Appointment, you know, it's mm -hmm. time to give the administration a chance to succeed. You know, the legislature shouldn't right. be pushing back. She, this governor has right. a vision. Lieutenant governor has a vision, mm -hmm. and let's see what they can do. Mm -hmm. you know? Interesting. Let's see how it goes. Thank you all for your thoughts on this. Really appreciate it.